Hey guys, so I got something new today. Um, well, not new to me because it isn't actually my stuff that I'm working on for the first time. Um, a gentleman on the Game Boy Discord uh, contacted me to do some work for him, and I said, sure, why the hell not? Uh, though I was a little bit reluctant. Um, anyway, I did get his Game Boy in today. Uh, this is his Game Boy, but he only shipped me the motherboard by my request just to save on shipping. I went ahead and put it together with this shell and these buttons that I had um, just so that we, you know, I can get an idea of what I'm working with. Um, he had mentioned that there might be some audio issues with this and he wanted to go ahead and get an amplifier installed. So I've got that right here, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, I went ahead and popped some batteries in this, and I just want to get a baseline of what it sounds like before we do some work. And uh, so, of course, I went and grabbed my game with my, not not my favorite game, but, you know, I think it's got one of the best intros out there. So, problem the first, I think, is that his power switch needs cleaning. The screen is also a little bit fucked up, apparently. I don't know, I just grabbed stuff out of my uh, junk bin. There we go. So, compared to my other Game Boys, that speaker doesn't actually sound that much quieter. Volume adjust works fine. Hmm. So I don't know that there's actually something wrong with this. I think maybe he's just expecting a little bit more than uh, Game Boy can provide. Granted, this one's a lot louder, so maybe it's a little bit of both. Hmm. Well, first thing, let's get this taken apart. I was going to not put all the screws in because I knew I was going to be taking it apart, but this is a really cheap aftermarket case and it was absolutely falling apart without all the screws, so... Okay. Probably shouldn't need to put it back together. First thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to clean up the power switch. It looks like there's a little bit of corrosion here. I am concerned about that, but I don't know. Should be fine. Probably should have turned on my multimeter or my uh, iron first. The gentleman who owns this Game Boy also mentioned that he did an IPS screen mod to it. It's that funny playing screen. So um, before I ship this back to him, I'm not going to do this on camera, but I might share my results on camera. Uh, but the reason I'm not going to do it on camera is because it's just going to take me so much longer. And I want to get this done as quickly and as efficiently as possible to get it back to him. So, okay, I need... A knife. We're gonna clean the power switch on this. If I can get that in, there we go. So, doesn't look that dirty in there, but the switch itself is solid black. I 
just built up on the contacts there, so I'll try and clean that out. Oh, where's my... Oh, there it is. Sorry, not as prepared as I thought it was, like usual. You can always tell how much gunk you're cleaning off by uh, how black the tip of that thing gets. Even if you can't see just by looking at the contacts how much shinier they are, which in this case, they are a bit shinier. Okay, that's enough of that noise, literally. do with my tweezers. That's annoying. I'm using them earlier to work on that flash card. I did find my uh, hemostat tool, which I had been missing for quite a while. I don't know how I lost it in the first place, but... But I have it now. Okay. Solder this back down. gonna add a little bit of solder because I don't like how little solder is holding that on. There we go. Whoops. Okay, let's use the plastic tool for soldering. There we go. This is why I miss my tweezers. Might pause the video and go get my other ones. Okay, now it is just occurring to me that if that was the cause of the issue, I should have tested it with my funny playing screen first, but uh, it's a bit late for that.
right. The flickering is gone. Which you can't see because there's no LED light pipe in there. But, oops. So what happens if you switch it all the way off? <laughs> Tell. I think that might be a little bit louder. Still not as loud as this one, though. I think this one's just stupid loud. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I think that's a bad comparison. Well, it's working, so let's do let's do the mod. So you're probably sitting there watching this video based on what I titled it, and you're thinking, Jesus, I let this moron go on and on for 12 minutes before he even started working on this mod. Yes, my friend, you did. This is your first video. Welcome. Expect that often. All right. This is speaker. This goes a bit there. Oh, you know, this speaker genuinely might be. Oh, never mind. There's just magnetic. Um... I don't know, a little metal fragment stuck to it. I suppose that could be causing issues. Just to make that easier on myself, I'm going to remove the excess solder from those speaker holes. Or not. There we go. up all this flux now. Alright. Let's get some wire going, huh? wire do we want to use? I don't want to use 20 gauge. That is entirely too large. Where is a 28 gauge? Uh, 26. That'll do. Bigger than I wanted, but still plenty small.
So you need, what, about four lengths of wire? One of them longer, the rest shorter. Even those might actually be too long. Retro modding does ship this kit with uh, pre-cut lengths of wire. If that's how you roll. They're even color coordinated. Last one, DT. I don't know what that says. All right. So the long one goes to the mystery pad. It says DT or something. Yeah, DT. One thing to note with this amplifier mod, um, even though I haven't even got this hooked up yet and I've never actually used one of these, this ties into the system amplifier. So if your Game Boy already makes a bunch of miscellaneous noises, you know, if it, there's some buzzing coming from the speaker or... Um, I forget the name, there's another one. like capacitor noise or something. This will just make that louder. I mean, it'll make the game louder too, but it'll make everything louder. Okay. And this is based off the PAM 8403, it looks like. So if you wanted to make your own, there you go. I'm going to, uh, before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a few minutes. Let the camera cool down. I'm going to go find my other tweezers, and I'm going to go get some heat shrink so that we can insulate this when we're all done. I'll be back in a jiff. All right, so excuse me if this continues a little bit weird. I uh, I did actually end up finishing the install. I wasn't very happy with it. I think I can do better, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to start over basically here. Uh, I did go ahead and get it installed, and damn is it loud, but... Like I said, I wasn't really happy with it, so we're going to redo it. I'm going to use instead this 26 gauge stranded copper wire. Uh, stranded instead of solid core because it uh, moves a little bit better. And um, green because, well, it's what I have. I'm thinking that's still twice as long as it needs to be, but... I can work with that. And then for the other two wires, I'm just using leftover speaker wire. That way it's nice and color coordinated. I'm not strip that yet. So I'm not really usually quick to grab this wire because the insulation melts on it real easily. In fact, you start soldering to it, the insulation is going to melt. But anyway, I'm going to put the short wire on the speaker in pad. And 
the long wire on the DT, OT, I don't remember what we decided it was, the fourth pad here. Let's go ahead and slip on your heat shrink before you get sidetracked. Actually, I'll come back to that. When at, you know, after it's too late, I have to solder it back on. Um, so this, I'm going to end up putting it upside down compared to how um, retromatting has it, which means these wires are going to be a lot shorter than this. So I can cut this significantly shorter. That's what I'm going to do. Should have paid better attention, waste less wire. But that's okay. We can make it work. So the speaker in wire goes into this top one. Probably helps if you tin it first. So it helps if you remove all the solder from the hole, but apparently I did not do that. There we go. How does this keep happening? Some jerk keeps using my uh, solder braid. It doesn't actually clip it when he's done. Next, you can bend that like that. If you really want to, you can wrap the speaker under it. Because fuck it, why not? We're going to make this wiring pretty. Alright, and now this DT one. I'm going to send it up and around. Instead of soldering it on the back, we're going to solder it on the front because it is significantly easier. Okay. So this one goes on pin number five right here. And you see what I mean about this wire? It's taking way too long to solder this. And the insulation is going nuts on me.
Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, I just want a pretty joint. There we go. Is that too much to ask for? All right. So that'll go underneath the speaker. You won't even see it. And this will go right there like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder the uh, power wires. Rather, this is going to go like that. So next, the red wire goes across these two capacitors. I'm going to strip off a little bit more than what's already stripped off, so I'm just going to start from the other side. In that. Oh, I need to trim that before I forget about it. There's a strand stuck to one of those wires. I didn't want it to short out. All right. So this wire gets soldered to the top of both of those capacitors there. I'm going to go ahead and trim a whiff off. Okay, so that it's nice and short. And then I'm going to solder that down. might help in this case would be a little bit of flux, but I think we're going to be okay. And the black wire gets soldered to the top of this capacitor here. So both these wires end up getting soldered to capacitors. And that definitely needs some flux. In this case, we'll just settle for some fresh solder. There we go. Alright, now, if you're following along, it is time for the heat shrink. Oh shit. No, it's not, because we got to solder that first. Well, good thing there's enough slack on it. And if this is all, I'll, uh, I'll fix it. But I don't think it's going to be awful. I think it's going to be much better than it was before.
stick that right onto the board. There's almost definitely an easier way to do this, by the way. I'm making this entirely more complicated than it needs to be. But, I don't know, I want it to be pretty. What do I do with my tweezers? I think in the first part of this video, I don't know, that was a few days ago, I was ranting about how I lost them. I did find them, by the way. And I had them up until a couple minutes ago. Well, I guess it's more like 20 minutes ago. But whatever, I have another pair. Just sneak that in there. Sneak the soldering iron on top if we accidentally shrink the heat shrink a little. I think we'll be okay. the heat gun so uh, headphone users beware Couple more things and then we're done. Well, that's it. Then we're done with this mod. I'm rustling around because I'm getting some capped on. I want to go ahead and insulate this area underneath the speaker. Two. That's entirely too big. There we go. One thing this speaker does that the OEM speaker does not is this one has a metal bottom. So, you can let that rattle around there. And, let's try it out, huh? I think that'll be good. I did um, get this here 
because I wanted to try it out with my funny playing ribbon, but I cannot find my V2 ribbon. I must have done something dumb with it, and I really don't want to take apart my, uh, my other console just to try it out, so... Hopefully I'll find it tomorrow and I can try it out then. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this in the video, um, cause yeah, but I did mention, uh, in the first half of the video, I was going on and on about it. In fact, that's why I stopped to clean the power switch. Um, this console I was told had audio issues. Uh, well, yes, there is a console that does have audio issues. It turns out this is not the motherboard that had audio issues. Uh, the gentleman who commissioned this mod shipped me a different motherboard. So, what I did was, uh, I mean, not to, not going to say it didn't help. It just didn't solve a problem that existed. So that's why we experienced zero audio issues in the first part. Use the right screws? I don't know. They are now. And I forgot the power switch again, but that's okay. Alright, just so y'all can get a uh, get an idea of how loud this sucker is. There's my game. And the volume is all the way up for your viewing pleasure. And the volume wheel still works perfectly fine. I think that's the ticket there. And yeah, this thing is stupid loud. So, take that as you will. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, with how it turned out. Uh, it's, it's so much better than my first attempt there. Um, so much so that I'm not even going to bother including that in the video. I'm just going to cut it out. Um, but before I do get out of your hair, there are a couple things I want to mention. You should, if you are if you notice you're having some audio issues on your console, a few things you should check. First, make sure your headphone jack is working properly. Uh, second, if you install the mod and it's not working properly, double check that it's the mod itself. You know, try if you can install it on another console or even um, undo the mod entirely and see if it's still acting up. I had some issues with the headphone jack on this one in particular. I thought it was my wiring that was causing the issues, which is why I was so upset with it. And um, turns out it wasn't the wiring. Uh, it was the headphone jack. It kept thinking that someone was putting some headphones in there. So I ended up cleaning it up and it's working significantly better now. But yeah. Um, otherwise, I think this is perfect right there. And it's not going anywhere because that cord's wrapped around the capacitor. So. I'm very pleased with how this came out, and uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, we can discuss. Uh, I'm sure there are different amps that work just as well, or not as well, I don't know. Um, but I'm certainly willing to try it out. I think it's a pretty interesting mod. Personally, I either use headphones or keep my Game Boy on mute anyway, so not quite for me, but, you know, I, 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 I get it. These things are really quiet out of the box, so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, have an excellent night.